First, I'll show you how to do a slide transition. You have to pick which slide you would like the transition to be attached to. I think I will pick this one, my lovely picture. Go over here where it says transition. Click here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, choose from the drop down menu the different um, choices. To see what it looks like, pick one and then push the play button. Shows you what it looks like. That was fade. Push stop. Choose a different one. See what it looks like. There's flip. I think I like flip. You can change the speed. Fast, slow, medium. Uh, oh, first I have to stop that, sorry. Change the speed. I think I'm going to go a little slower. And that's it. I've now attached a transition to this slide. Word art. To do a word art, I think I'm going to, I put I love Thailand here, but I'm going to change it and do word art instead. So I'm going to delete this one and go up to insert word art. I'm going to use the same words. I love Thailand. Click enter to save. And now you want to make changes. Obviously it's a little big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Move it down here. This tiny blue dot here will change the angle. You can turn it, whoa, maybe too much. Actually, maybe I'll turn it like this. Make it vertical. Or is that confusing? Maybe not. Okay, I'll do this instead. Move it over here. And now we get to um, customize it. Arial is pretty boring, so let's pick a different font. Oh, that's not bad. Make him a little bigger. I love Thailand. Pick a color. Fill color. That's not bad. This is the, the border color, so you can have a border oh, around it. There's lots of different things you can do to use the word art. So there's your example for word art. I'll show you how to do an animation. First pick the slide that you would like to have the animation on and then within the slide pick something, for example this little fish here. Make sure the fish is highlighted and then click on animate. Right now it is set to fade in if I click. I'm going to try something different. There's lots of different choices here. How about fly in from the top? And instead of on the click, on the click means during the presentation I would have to click in order for it to do the flying. I don't want that, so I'm going to choose after previous, so it'll just automatically happen. To look at it and make sure it's the way we like it, let's push play. There it is, it just flew in. Push stop to end the playing. So now I've animated that fish. You can do other animations by just clicking on different objects. So the fish is going to fly in from the top. Let's make the coral maybe fly out to top or how about fly in from left. And again we'll get rid of the click. Choose previous. This is the speed. Let's check it out one fishy and the coral. Push the stop to stop the playing and I think that's enough animation for one slide. Another requirement is to have at least one image that has been masked into a call out shape. I'll show you how to do that. First pick a slide that has an image so I'm going to use this one here, the lovely picture of the beach. Select the picture and then go up here Right beside copy image is a teeny tiny arrow and it says mask image. Click that little arrow and then you can choose the shape you want the picture to be in. 
it's already a rectangle, so don't choose rectangle. How about we choose arrow? And what it does is it makes the shape, sorry, it makes the image go into a shape. You can change the line thickness. You can change the line color. And that's how you do a mask image. One more requirement is a timeline diagram showing important events in your life. So I picked a slide and I deleted all of the things that were on the slide. I made the title timeline of events and now I'm going to insert my diagram. Go to insert diagram. Choose timeline. Within timeline you can choose how many dates you'd like to um, include, so four, five, six, I'm going to choose four, and then pick the timeline that you like the best. I think I'm going to pick this one. Okay, it's inserted my timeline, and now all I have to do is fill in the information. This whale is kind of in a bad position for the timeline, so I'm going to select whale and just move them around a little. Certain elements on your template can be changed like this. Okay, move that over a little so it's not in the way. Excellent. So now I need to change the information. 1978, what was the event? This hunt was born. Now you think, what is another big event in your life? I think I'm going to put my high school graduation, 1996. And that would be high school graduation. High school grad. Erase this information. If you triple click, one, two, three, you can highlight everything at once. It's very convenient. So Miss Hunt finished high school with no clue about what her future would hold. Continue on putting in different life events until you have at least four, and that's how you do the timeline of events. I finally finished my slideshow with all of the requirements. I have 10 out of the list of 15 different slides. But I still have some extra slides that came with the template, but I'm not going to use them. There's actually like 35 slides. So what you need to do is select the ones you don't want to use. I'm pushing the shift button to select more than one at a time. And then I'm going to delete them. These are extra slides where they give you um, access to different images, which we are not going to use in this lesson. Okay, let me delete those. I just pushed the delete button on the keyboard. That took a while. <laughs> Get rid of that one. Okay, the one slide that you must keep is the one that says credits. This one gives credits to um, Slides Go, so it shows that we did not create this template ourselves. You have to keep this slide. This one you do not need to keep. The thanks one you don't need. So you must have the credits slide. I'm at 17 now, so there's still a couple more in here that I didn't use. There's one I didn't use, so get rid of it. Didn't use that one. Okay, keep looking for slides I did not use. I did not use that one. There's another one, so keep deleting all of the ones that do not have information about you. Okay, I think I've got them all done. I have 12 total slides, and on my assignment sheet, I need a total of 12. So now I know that I'm done. Here's my finished slideshow. 
first present. We're not going to watch the video, but you're welcome to watch it on YouTube one day. This really is a good book, but you should wait until you're older to read it. And that's it.